Hi guys, uh, welcome to the next episode of Monday Bagel. Uh, my uh, guest is today Jarek Ovczarek, who is head of product in Contract Book. It's the fastest growing contract uh, lifecycle management platform. Jarek, uh, welcome. It's it's great uh, you join me. Thank you. Thank you, Michal. Glad to be here. Uh, we, we are discussing the uh, impact of uh, AI on law, and uh, I would like to ask you about your point of view. It's becoming a lot more prominent to me that it's impacting nowadays a lot more than it used to a year ago. Uh, and this is due to the advancement in the technology that we are seeing popping up. Um, I think OpenAI, especially here, uh, leads away and the leaps that we have seen recently in what the models can do um, now show a really potential big impact on law and how companies of different size um, already use today artificial intelligence in their businesses. Um, uh, also law firms, I think um, we're only starting to see more and more uh, impact. And I think there's going to be a lot more to come in the upcoming months and years. You're a prominent person in legal tech world. How it impacts the uh, the legal tech? How, how it, mm. does it disrupt uh, uh, legal tech models, uh, applications, tools? Uh, mm. Does it help? I've been observing... Artificial intelligence, we've been investing a little bit of time and money into uh, figuring out what are the best problems to be solved by artificial intelligence uh, for our customers. And up until a couple of weeks back, um, I was of an opinion that the investment uh, into the models um, has been outgrowing the potential value. My perception has changed. Uh, I am of the belief that we now have a quality of uh, outputs that really accelerates the value creation. What we've done in Contract Book, we actually organized a hackathon a couple of weeks back and have given the teams inside two days to build a solution on top of the models that we gave them and we've gave them access to OpenAI, uh, most of all. Uh, but they had the freedom to choose whatever they believed uh, will be helpful. I was astonished by the results that the teams were able to build. It's really great to see the value acceleration, as I've mentioned, for our customers. It really helps the business model. Uh, and helps the customers to get that value a lot faster than they used to before. And we are talking about things that are like creation of contracts, detection of data, analysis of data. I think there is uh, plenty of uh, things that now we can uh, do on top of it. Of course, there is a topic of privacy and making sure that processing of data is uh, secure. So, of course, we are taking necessary steps to figure out exactly what we need to do, which is also a very, very interesting topic. Can you say a bit more? What, what, mm -hmm. what do you think will be most val valued by, by your mm -hmm. clients or people generally? Mm -hmm. I think it really depends on the type of contracts you deal with, the maturity of your business, the access to legal services within your business as well. What we've seen is very powerful and is going to deliver a lot of value is understanding of the contents of contracts. In the future, I think this is going to be something that we will see a lot more usage of. There's plenty of other things. The, from detection of simple things like reminders, obligations, tasks, to risk analysis on sets of contracts, uh, pulling data out of bigger sets of contracts and driving business intelligence that is actionable for you to use uh, in your business, in your everyday uh, work. Uh, just imagine being able to analyze a set of contracts and say, show me all, uh, how many contracts do we have with X amount of uh, discounts for our customers and how many are for renewal and who is responsible for those things. I think the, the possibilities are really endless. And then you have also some things like, for example, uh, turning your PDFs or scans into uh, contracts, uh, being able to uh, even maybe uh, in the future be supported in negotiation by AI. The entry level into the AI uh, space is so small now that I think it's going to be a standard. It's it's something that every company is going to have. Uh, I think this is just going to be the new era of contracts. Uh, last question. Should should practicing lawyers be afraid uh, to be replaced by, by AI a bit? Uh... Being afraid is not going to lead us anywhere. We, we really can utilize the superpowers that AI is enabling to be better humans, uh, better professionals, better legal professionals. Um, and I think it's not about being replaced it's about utilizing that extra power that uh that is now available uh to us um to the benefit of of our customers of our clients of our uh, colleagues uh, uh ourselves fully agree thank you Eric, for for this interesting discussions and uh, see you guys uh, next week with a new episode thank you bye Eric. thank you